Welcome to a new episode of DFIR in 120 seconds. Today's topic is another artifact that indicates execution of a file, the user assist key. The user assist keys are stored in the registry and keep track of GUI-based programs usually executed as a child of explorer.exe. In other words, things you execute from a command shell won't show up there. The keys exist to propagate the Windows launcher. The user assist key is stored in the end user dat, so the entries are always bound to a certain user account. The exact location in the registry is end user dat, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, Explorer, user assist. Microsoft for some reason decided to store the data in a slightly encrypted form. Don't worry now, it's only row 13, a very simple and old substitution cipher. In addition to the ciphered file name, Microsoft also stores the number of executions, focus time, last execution date and time for the executable. Tools that you can use to extract the user assist keys are Eric Zimmerman's Registry Explorer or Lock to Timeline, now called Plasso. Find the links in the description. So let's summarize the forensic value of the user assist key. It stores which GUI programs have been executed by which user, including the last execution time. It keeps the entries even after the files have been deleted, which might point you at tools an attacker used and deleted afterwards. It's stored in the end user dat, which means it might roam with the user, thus surviving a hardware change or restaging of the machine. I hope you enjoyed this episode of DFIR in 120 seconds. See you next time when I talk about prefetch.